A story we brought you first on WPRI.com, an alleged threat on a Rhode Island state representative's life. It was amid a debate over heated political issues, and the person who's accused of making this statement is saying it should not be taken seriously. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Colonian joins us now live in studio with the details that were first on Eyewitness News. Kim? Well, Mike and Caroline, the statement was made as part of testimony during the marathon House Judiciary hearing on abortion-related bills Tuesday night. And now the woman who made that statement tells me it was satire. This was not funny. State Representative Gregory Costantino says he wasn't laughing after reading testimony submitted to the House Judiciary Committee by former state Senate candidate Melanie DuPont. DuPont is also Costantino's constituent and at Tuesday night's hearing on multiple abortion related bills, she had this to say to the pro-life lawmaker. Therefore, I contend that anytime my state representative Gregory J. Costantino tries, tries to, to abridge, abridge my, my rights as a woman, and endanger my life, I, I Melanie, Melanie DuPont, DuPont, should return the favor and try to abridge his rights as a man and endanger his life. When you read those words, endanger his life, what goes through your mind? Um, you know, they're going to come after me. Someone's going to come after me, threaten m either myself or my family, and, you know, killing. Costantino took the issue to Rhode Island State Police, who confirmed they are investigating. DuPont tells Eyewitness News she was questioned by police Thursday, but says she never intended to threaten Costantino, and the entirety of her testimony was satirical. In today's environment, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'm not going to be bullied, absolutely not going to be bullied or threatened by anyone, not at this point in stage of my life. And I asked Costantino what he'd like to see come out of this investigation. He says he hopes police talk to DuPont and the issue comes to an end. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.